We're on the Milwaukee lakefront today getting our first look at these new Evinrude E-Tech G2 outboard motors. One of the first things you'll notice about it is the styling. Instead of the typical bucket shaped outboard cowl, it has an exoskeleton of composite material and these side panels. And you loosen these six screws and the panel lifts right off if you ever need to service the motor. When we take that panel off, we can look underneath here and see some of the good features. We've got a very large water separating fuel filter with a spin-off element. BRP has located the oil reservoir on all of these motors on the engine. This holds two gallons of injector oil. And over here is a sort of a telltale reservoir that holds gear case lube. So there's a line that goes down to the gear case and comes up to here and it's sort of like the uh, radiator reservoir on your automobile. So you can look in here and see that the level's correct and also tell if there's any water contamination because the water will rise and it'll look cloudy there. Well, and over here is a sort of a telltale reservoir that holds gear case lube. So there's a line that goes down to the gear case and one of the first things you'll notice about it is the styling. Instead of the typical bucket shaped outboard cowl, it has an exoskeleton of composite material and these side panels. And you lose a large water separating fuel filter with a spin off element. BRP has located the oil reservoir on all of these motors on the engine. This holds two gallons of injector oil. We're on the Milwaukee lakefront today getting our first look at these new Evinrude E-Tech G2 outboard motors. Loosen these six screws and the panel lifts right off if you ever need to service the motor. When we take that panel off we can look underneath here and see some of the good features. We've got a very